Eivor, did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, Rolf. How do you know? You never went on a raid. You shut up. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor. <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flight. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, hey, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will make you regret what you've taught me today. I haven't taught you enough if you think that line works. Where's the rhyme? Your flighting's astounding. You're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
Need anything else? See you later, Swain. Sure. Come to keep your blade sharp? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon.
would like to hear a story. Who this would enjoy a tale of the gods? Clan battles clan. There has always been war, even among the gods. When Midgard was young, Asgard was torn by strife. The battle-born Asir, hating the Vanya's magic, betrayed custom and made murder in Odin's great hall. Gulveig of the Vanir was killed and burned, not once, but three times, and reborn as Freya, mother of the Valar. The war that came after echoes through the Nine Worlds still. Midgarda would drown in the blood spilled, and their dead would hide the sun. Those bravely fallen, now buried, Wait for Heimdall to blow the Gjallar horn and summon them to battle one last time. Losses on both sides left each open to attacks from Jotnar and other monsters. So Odin, in his wisdom, proposed a truce and marriage to the war witch Freya. Oaths were made, horns were raised, and from the gods mingled spit was born. Fully formed, Kvasmir, wiser than Odin himself. This was the same Kvasmir whose stolen blood became the meat of poetry. But that is another story. A good story, Holger. But I hear the voice of Styrbjörn in it. A wise skald takes his words from the gods and his orders from the king. Tekla? Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Like Odin, mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. A game of skill, or luck. <laughs> How about a game? Let us begin. All right then, let us begin.
this will do. Interesting. My game, stranger. Just give up. I'm getting good at this. This cannot be. I challenge you to another round. Set the board. We go again.
this will do. This victory will be mine. I'm getting good at this. How did what? No! Again! Another time, perhaps. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
Can I interest you in a game of horror? Let's see what they're going to do. So we're going to be better soon than we're going to be. Say that they're going to be better than us. Let's go. into you. Hey, what's the matter? Save it for later. Do you see?
Go, Sulin. Hush now. What do you see, Sunan? <laughs> 